Mars Attacks the Dice Game from Steve Jackson Games. Game about Martians destroying all your poor, hapless Earthling cities, and it's based on the trading cards of the same name by Tops. I feel like they really captured the essence of our ruthless invasion. First thing you'll do is lay out the city stacks. You'll need one card in each stack per player at the table, and the card on top is face up. You'll need at least three Earthlings to play the game, but you can play with as many as six. This is the first player marker. Decide who goes first, then give that player the first player marker. Give each player the tokens of a single color. You'll use those tokens to track your progress in destroying the puny Earthling cities. This card allows you to set the difficulty of the game. The one with two nukes is easier than the one with one nuke. Pick a side and put it next to the city cards. Now give the dice to the first player. You're ready to start playing. When it's your turn, pick a city to go after. Put one of your player tokens next to it to indicate that you're going to try to destroy it. Then, roll all the dice at once. The different faces mean different things. Nukes are bad. When you roll nukes, compare the number of nukes you've rolled to the number of nuke symbols on all the cards currently in play. To make it easy, put the nukes you've rolled on the cards to keep track. If you fill up all the symbols, you've busted. Your turn is over and play passes to the left. The ray guns are good. When you roll ray guns, place them on the city card you're going after. If you fill it up, you have destroyed that city. You can also roll Martian heads. When you roll any Martian heads, you can choose to continue your turn and re-roll all your Martian heads. You can stop any time you want and bank the ray guns you've rolled so far. Take one of your tokens and put it on the spot corresponding to the number of ray guns you rolled. If your token is already on a space in that city, add that space's number to the number of ray guns you rolled this turn, and put your token on that space. If your token makes it to the final space on that city, you've destroyed it! Take the card and put it in front of you. Multiple players can go after the same city. And you can go after multiple cities, but you can only go after one city per turn. Each city card has a couple of things to pay attention to on it. First, there are the spaces where you put your tokens. We've already talked about how to use those. Second, each card is worth victory points. Get the most of these by the end of the game, and you win. Each card also has some number of nukes on it. The more nuke symbols that are on the table, the more nukes you can roll before busting. Some cards have special rules that trigger when they're in play, or when you claim them. Monuments are special cards that require Martian heads instead of ray guns because you're trying to get your picture taken in front of the monument. When you claim a card, flip over the next card in that stack. It's now available to be destroyed. When you claim the final card in the stack, you start the end game. Keep playing until you finish the round out. You know you finish the round out when you get back to the first player. Count up the victory points from the cards in front of you. Whoever has the most, wins. Mars Attacks the Dice Game is available now.